Hey up YouTubers, Simon B here, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping safe out there. Um, day, well, it's not day three, but day two of activities that we're doing out here. Um, after the reindeer yesterday, we're up here now with the um, dog sleds. So we're gonna do a bit of dog sledding with some huskies, hopefully. Um, so yeah, if you fancy a bit of that, as they say, stick around and um, stay tuned. Yeah. Like and subscribe! Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a sea over there. Um, yeah, so it's what? Just gone 11 o'clock and um, this is about as much as um, sunshine that you get. It has been a bit cloudy over here lately, so um, it's, um, it's not been brill. But just over there, you probably won't be able to see another ski resort. Right through there. But you probably won't be able to see some lights up on that hill. There's a couple of hills over there. First, first couple of hills that I've um, seen when I've been out here. But, um, it just all seems a bit, well, it's all a bit flat, but it's just what it is, isn't it? So Alaskan Huskies are not a proper registered breed. They're like a mixed breed. So we put Siberian Huskies and then we put some hunting dogs in there for some speed. Siberian Huskies have stamina but they are not as fast as other dogs. So when you mix them with something that's fast, you get speed and stamina. So that's why they're good sled dogs. But very many of our dogs, as you see, don't really look like a husky. Um, but I can show you the difference between Siberian and Alaskan husky. In one cage, we have both. So we have Emmy and we have Ronia. So Emmy is the Siberian husky. You have her there, she's quite old, both grandmas. And uh, Ronya is an Alaskan Husky, so you can see the difference. The Alaskans sometimes have floppy ears. They also can have very thick fur, but most of them have a bit shorter fur, because the hunting dogs have usually quite short fur, pointers and setters. Mm. And uh, yeah, they've been cage mates forever. They're very good friends, but they run in different positions, as you see. Mm. So we have the three different positions, the leaders, the speed or team dogs, and then the wheel dogs, that's kind of the power. And uh, Emmy's a very good leader, and Ronnie is a bit lazy. <laughs> <laughs> so the easiest position is in the middle. You don't have to think, and you don't have to pull very much. So she likes to go in there. Um, but usually the, peop the, the people, the dogs that live together also run together in the same teams and also in the same positions right. most of the time, but not always. And uh, the Siberian Huskies were by the, um, originally bred by the Chukchi people, so the ones in Siberia, the indigenous ones, and they used these dogs to transport everything, goods, people, medicine, whatever you need, uh, because they didn't have cars. And uh, even after cars were invented, it's very cold. Cars don't start as reliable as a dog when you feed it. <laughs> so that's where they came from. So in Finland, originally, they didn't use sled dogs. Uh, we have um, 
what is it, uh, the indigenous people here in Finland. They're called Sami, but they used reindeer. So reindeer are much better for walking in the deep snow because mm. uh, they have bigger hoofs. Because these huskies need tight packed snow to run on. So mm. tundra where there's nothing else than snow. And that's in Siberia and Alaska where they came from, but not here. So this is purely for touristic purposes. Mm. Yeah. Kind of. But we have snow, so we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> How long do they work for? So their whole life basically. Right. Um, they start when they're one year old, one and a half. They get to run in their first sleigh. Yep. And uh, they retire when they're like 10, 11, 12. Yeah. That is, I think, the maximum. Yeah. Lifespan is like 13, 14 years. Right. So they get like two, three years of retirement. Mm. And then they're here uh, to mostly be trained with the younger ones. Yeah. Because the young ones don't know where to go. Yeah. So we put them in the, uh, in the sleighs together with those. We also use them as quarter dogs <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. for the Canterburys. <laughs> so they get to go next to the cotter and be pet by people and spoiled yeah. with lots of love. So this is usually everything is in the front, these lines. Um, but let's start off with this model. This is what you get. This is the sleigh. And uh, we have the handlebar. We have the skis here. And we have the brake. Quite simple, nothing more. And we have two positions. So you are six, so I presume two, two, two? Yeah. Yes. yes. And uh, we will have the opportunity to switch drivers if you want to. <coughs> you don't have to, but we can do that. So one is the driver and the other is, the, the other is passenger. So what the passenger does is sit inside the sleigh. This is in the front, it doesn't bother you. Uh, there's one rule, you keep everything inside. So hands and legs inside the sleigh, okay? So. You are not children, you don't need to grab any, any trees or things from the ground because then you run them over and uh, also don't like do this because then a tree hits you and that hurts. And nobody gets the idea of breaking with their foot because then the foot is broken. So just keep everything inside and you're good. Have backpacks or something, what you have? No, you don't have I've got little in You uh, can go in between there. or you can sit here, it's fine. <laughs> as a passenger that's very good all you have to do is just sit inside as a driver you have the hard work and responsibility so what the driver does is has the both hands here at the handlebar always so as a driver nobody films and we don't wave or we don't like turn around we also look in the front and have both hands here always good then we have the feet on our skis and the brake is used with one foot, as I said, depending on how much you need to brake, you can actually put a lot of pressure on it. Um, okay, then we will go through some curves. We go uphill and we go downhill. The curves are managed like this. You just lean in the, in the direction where you want to go. So you want to go to the right, you lean a bit to the right. Just put more weight on this leg. Want to go to the left, you lean a bit to the left. You don't need to be like crazy leaners because then <laughs> this uh, starts to tip, but just, just a tiny bit. Okay, then uphill. The sleigh, you, driver, everything is heavy. The dogs do these rounds a lot, so we need to help them. We need to be a team. So what we do is the driver steps off the sleigh, still holds on, but steps off the sleigh and runs and pushes. So uphill, you will sweat. <laughs> you run and push with the dogs and then you just jump back off. <laughs> so whoever is not sweating is not doing a good job. <laughs> good. Downhill, we have the same problem that the sleigh is again very heavy, but now it might uh, hit the dogs in the back legs because it goes faster than the dogs. So what we do when, uh, before that happens is we break. Downhill, we just break. And uh, you also keep an eye on this line. It's usually in the front. It's our main line where we have the dogs attached. And it's very important that it is tight. So if you see it starts to get loose a bit, especially downhill, you just break and then it's tight again. Because otherwise it gets wrapped around the legs of the dogs and can touch them. Well, they get entangled and you just have a big ball of dog. <laughs> <laughs> and that's very difficult to entangle. Okay, so downhill we break. And uh, yeah, then how do we know what to do? 
We will of course have a guide, uh, me and Oti. So uh, we will sit on the snowmobile and then you in the sleighs behind. And we give you three different signs. So the first sign, you did the snowmobile safari? Not yet. No, not yet, okay. So it's exactly the same signs, but you don't have to repeat them. At the snowmobile safari, you repeat them. We have one sign, it's let's go. So that means we go, we start the safari, then slow down with one foot, slow down, because there's the downhill occur if something we need to be slow, or you're just too fast, also possible. And then stop. And stopping is done with both feet. So it's very important that you use both feet, otherwise you will not stop. And also, once you are stopped, don't leave. Because uh, now you're stopped and the scenery is very nice. You're like, ooh, I want to take a picture or I want to talk to somebody else or do something. The dogs notice that there's nothing on the brakes and they just go and you stay here. <laughs> so the golden rule is always stay here with both feet and have both hands here. If it gets uncomfortable, you can like lean on this one, but it's, it's fine. So don't stand here or don't have like this, always both feet. Good. Was that everything? I think so. I think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's different here and without the... <laughs> but yeah, do you have any questions? No. No? No. Nope. Everybody understood everything? Yep. Very good. Then I'll just quickly check where we are. So, that's the um, demonstration over. Let's go and do it for real, eh? See if I've got it on yet, so it might be shit. Oh, it's, Simon. A, it, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very wide angle lens. All right. Doing more work than the dogs. <laughs> hey, I've, He's I've helping been, them out. I've not been studying, you know. I've been <laughs> under the tom on it. Say hi. Bye. <laughs> yeah, you could do it all day, couldn't you? Mm. Oh, an experience, though, isn't it? You don't do that right. Like, you don't do this very often. No. Why is he running sideways? Get running sideways. 
Simon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they should be doing this. <laughs> Give him a hand. No, we're fine. No, okay. So next is all the way downhill, so oh, good. a little bit break. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Hopefully, as you said, we're going downhill now. I'll go for that. Can't get off. <laughs> huh? That's some um, once in a lifetime thing we can do here. Huh? Absolutely um, awesome. Yeah. Sideways. That was him that was on the side Oh, was it? Yeah, it was always. Well, that was the dogs. That was day two activities. I haven't done where we're going now, I'm going somewhere. But um, yeah, awesome. See you in a bit. Like and subscribe!